Jesus Christ. As it falls an angel's name. This is a common saying, not just in Nigeria, but in the world at large. Where tears, tears, my friends, are seen as a sign of weakness rather than human emotion. Hello, everyone. My name is Tobit Ifemirojiku Panaju, and today I'll be talking about toxic masculinity and how its roots are deeply woven into the very fabric of our society. Public masculinity can be defined in my own world as a negative stereotype associated with how men are to behave. For instance, men don't cry, be a man, act like a man. What does that even mean? There is no secret manual detecting the right way to be a man. Forget the macho book of manliness for dummies. Every guy right here, right now, every Tom, Dick, and Harry is an author of the best selling novel, Me myself, and I. So today, I'll be sharing three reasons why we need to dismantle this harmful norm called toxic masculinity. One, mental health impact on men. Two, negative effects on women. Three, rethinking strength. Mental health impact on men. Men are suffering in silence. With mental health taking the back seat, depression and anxiety at the real consequence. A research done by Romoto et al. in 2018 found a significant relationship between adherence to masculine norm and increased risk of depression <coughs> among young men. Two, impact on women. It doesn't end with men. No, it starts with us men. The effect spills over. Often silencing women, breeding disrespect, and even going as far as justifying violence. Guys, there is no justification for violence, be it emotional or physical. A research done by Gray in 2021 found that toxic masculinity not only shapes ample gender roles, but also significantly contributes to abusive behaviors in heterosexual relationships, adversely affecting women. Rethinking strength. So currently, strength is Masculine strength is being tested by um, probably how much weight you can lift, how well built your body is, or suppressing your emotions. But that is not strength. Strength is not the absence of tears. It's the courage to let them fall. It's the bravery to show vulnerability. Let's redefine strength now. True strength lies not in the rigid confines of toxic masculinity. No, it's in resilience in compassion, it's in the hand to offer to those who are in need across all cultures. So let's come together and define the stereotype that equates emotional expression to weakness. Guys, join the movement. Empower, embrace, educate. I ask you to stand with me today and teach our boys that it's okay for them to cry. It's okay for them to feel it's okay for them to ask for help. Let's build a society that values emotional expression and collective support. Thank you for joining this crucial dialogue. Together we can dismantle this damaging norm and build a more positive world. Say no to toxic masculinity today. Thank you guys.